Oh boy, look at what we got here. It's what we've all been waiting for. Starlink showed up. Now we're gonna try to, I'm gonna unbox it here and then hopefully we're gonna set this bad boy up. The FedEx guy dropped it off, the box got all wet here. It's all kinda crappy looking. Hopefully it's nothing. Didn't affect anything inside. Ooh, baby. Elon Musk, let's see what you got. Okay, here we go. Oops. Looks like some kind of stand. This looks like the dish itself. Wow, look at that, it's all. Fancy. Something to do something else. Oh, this must be like the router piece, I guess. Oh, and it's, it's I don't know if these are, these look like they might be plugged in or, let's see. Oh yeah, you can unplug these. That's hardwired. I think from the factory it comes with like 35 feet of this cable here to get it into the building. Um, this kind of shows you here. You only got a couple, uh, you only got like one option basically from the out of the box to mount it. They want you to put it like on a field or on a flat surface. Starlink. And that's it. Bas pretty pretty basic. Pretty basic packaging. Pack it in this nice plastic material here, because otherwise it would have got wet. See the bottom of the box is wet. Alright, so from the factory from without buying any extra mounts or anything. Uh, this is all that it comes with for to set this thing up. You just have a flat surface. This thing snaps into the base, the, the dish piece here, I guess. Um, and then you gotta run this cable. This cable clip uh, plugs in under here and you gotta run it to this which I assume is like your router and it goes inside your house. Um, I think we're gonna do a little, we didn't order a mount or anything, so we're gonna do something a little custom and try to mount this to the side of the, the house just the way it is. Um, so we'll see how, see how that goes. All right, so as you can see, I'm on the roof. And this is where, it's probably going to be about where we set this thing up, but um, first thing that I'm going to do is you want to download the Starlink app and you want to, it goes through a setup process and um, it basically, they want you to look up at the sky with your phone and try to collect all the satellite information um, of where it's going to be. Uh, right now it's just looking at what we got for obstructions. Alright, so where I'm sitting is good, but uh, we're going to put it, we're actually going to stick it. It's probably going to end up being somewhere right here. So I'm gonna go around kind of where the um, chimney is here. And hopefully, I'm not sure which direction it's gonna want to face, but it's 
So that time I set it up, uh, I kind of got it near the chim, put it near the chimney, and it found an obstruction. It says you may want to find another spot to set it up. So I'm just gonna try moving it down a little bit here. It's kind of hard to actually get the uh, to get the full range and keep it in one spot, or it is. I mean, I'm struggling with it anyway. I'm almost thinking I want to move it, but I'm gonna set it up right here for now. See what happens. All right, so I picked my spot here. I'm gonna set it up somewhere right about here, post sticking up. Um, yeah, let's see how it, see how it goes. Might end up wanting to get a taller, taller post. Just putting it on a taller piece of pipe at some point. We'll see how it goes. This is just a temporary, temporary setup here. Uh, I would do, I don't know how it's gonna work in this location. If I was doing it on somebody else's house, I would do it a little bit nicer. A little bit neater and nicer. And, but it's on my own house, I don't really, I don't really care at the moment anyway. solid I would say and now because this is a custom thing I gotta drill a little hole right here for the cord to come out now I'm gonna drill I'm gonna drill into the house here um, and when you drill into the house you probably you kind of want to go up at a little bit of an angle that way if water does go in there we're gonna silicone the hole anyway That's our hole. All right, so we're up in the attic now, and I found my hole that I that I drilled in. It's right it's right over here. It's kind of hard to see. It's dark up here. Um, and what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna pass the end of the cable here. There's two ends of the cable. You got uh, this end here. This is the straight end. This is what go, ends up going into the satellite dish. So we're gonna slide that out the hole we just drilled. You wanna slide out it's a little bit of slack so you get enough out there. Um, and now we gotta, end, we gotta get the other cable, the other end of the cable, which is, this is what it looks like here. It's, uh, it's got this kind of right angle type connection on it. This actually goes into the router end, where the and the router. So you got to run it to where the, where you're plugging in your router. Uh, for me, I got it pretty pretty easy. I'm going. I got my hole right here, and then uh, I'm going. I got my chimney right here. I'm gonna go right down, right. Gonna go down right next to the chimney. Um, so I got plenty of cable with mine. It's I think like I said I when I unboxed it. I think it's 35 feet from uh from the factory but you want to make sure where you set your where you're setting your router uh isn't too far away because otherwise you'll have to get a longer cable and they do sell longer um longer cables so if you do need to go farther but luckily for me it's a nice short nice short nice short distance
you want to make sure you have a drill bit big enough to fit this end through because a bit that I got actually ended up being too small. Um, so I'm going to fish it the other way, but, um, you'll, you'll see in a minute. I, but I, you want to make sure if you're drilling it like this, you gotta have a hole either big enough for this right angle piece or, or it won't fit. All right, so we got the wire coming up through that hole down there. We're gonna run it up, back up to here, back up to the, back up to the hole up going outside. All right, so we got the, we came up over here and then we go out right there. All right, so this is what the cable is gonna plug into that we're running right now. And for me, I just I just ran mine up behind my chimney here and it goes up through the ceiling. Um, you might wanna consider doing it a little cleaner. Like I said, this is just a temporary setup um, just to see if it works. All right, so we got the cable now. It's, you can see I got it poking out right here. Um, we're gonna take that go up through this hole I made in my custom mount try to uh, it's like I didn't make it quite big enough I'll have to make it a little bit bigger all right so I got it up through this mount um, basically this this thing here slides up up into the up into the dish here and plugs in you can kind of feel it plug in and then we're gonna just slide this baby down just like that that's all that's all she wrote um, it now this spins a little bit I'm gonna secure this so it doesn't spin in the wind or something um, but I got to figure out which direction it wants to face um, why do that all right, so I guess the next step we got to go down and we got to plug that, plug it in, plug everything in, plug it into the wall, and go from there before we figure out which way it has to face. Um, one thing I'm gonna do before I go down though, I'm gonna silicone up. I'm gonna put some silicone in that hole. Um, that way, no water gets in there. All right, so we got the, I have the uh, cable to run down behind the chimney there. It goes behind the couch. And this was the best outlet right here, right here behind the couch. I got just got the, the router sitting there um, just to see if it'll work. It says, now this is where we're at on the setup process. It says to plug it in, I'm gonna hit next see how this thing works it's connecting to the Starlink all right so now 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 that we're connected it's gonna set it up as you set up a password and now we're booting let's go outside and see if it's doing anything oh wow yeah look at that moved up I don't know which way it's supposed to aim but we'll find out I guess all right so basically I followed the setup process it took a while for it to after I got it all plugged in I followed the setup process I set up my network um, and it took a while for it to boot up but now now it's all set it's going it's working and 
do a little speed a speed test here. Anyway, as you can see, it's pretty fast. It's been about a month of having uh, Starlink. I'm pretty happy with it for being in an area with no internet at all, other than dial-up. Um, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. It's a little expensive. You got to pay. Uh, uh, I think it was five hundred dollars to buy the equipment, and then it's a hundred dollars a month after that to keep to keep the uh, internet service. But like I said, when you don't have internet, it's worth every penny of it because you need it, the internet to do everything. And right now, the speeds have varied. I've had up to 200 megabits and as low as 20. But right now, it's very rare that it's less than um, 50. See, this is a... Uh, eight o'clock on a Saturday night. We get one one seventy ish. Forty seven forty seven milliseconds of ping. That's pretty good for satellite internet. Upload speeds lacking a little. But I mean, I can't, I can't complain with that. You can watch 4K YouTube videos, no problem. Stream, multiple people streaming. I don't know if they're gonna, I don't know if they're gonna data cap it, but I really hope they don't because at the moment it's pretty nice. You can't, you can't even get uh, through Verizon, you can't get internet that fast, let alone it being unlimited data. They data cap everything. I definitely recommend Starlink Internet if you can get it in your in your area. I ordered it in August and they said it was going to be mid to late that year that it was going to be available in my area and it ended up getting pushed back I believe until uh, February. This was all the day we got it is the day Curtis made this video about installing it which was February 8th so it took a few months to to get even though it said it was going to be ready by the end of the year so take that for what it's worth it was worth the wait though it's nice to finally have fast internet I hope this gave anybody who's looking to get out a little idea of what to expect I had literally zero idea what to expect ordering it but it worked out good it works good and I'm happy with it so that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.